hello everyone and welcome back to the channel once again and this is going to be my first team which i have used up in the great league remix cup for season 15 and since because of the huge meta shift where all the high ranked pokemons or most most used pokemons are gone it is giving a huge opportunity for my quacksire which i am using a shadow shadow variant as well because since a most of the steel type like galadian stunfisk and dirty steel are gone carving uh, as well as Swampert. So Carbink is the number one ranked Pokemon in this cup over here. So though it's only obtained via a paid research, but nevertheless people might have a might have access to that as well. To which I'm going to use my Quacksire to counter that, uh, in which it is going to be huge because of the buff to Mud Bomb and access to Stone Age as well. For coverage, uh, for grass, I'm using Pidgeot over here as in my backline with Cresselia making it a super good coverage alongside with a safer moveset of Grass Knot and Moon Blast. So my backline uh, can handle those grass types over here and uh, maybe fighters as well which Quaxar might uh, have tough time with. So nevertheless, moving into the first battle, I pick up a lead against uh opposing Ariados over here and since i am having access to stone edge so i'll be directly going for the first stone edge so even though i am debuffed right now with lunch it does land and it puts the Ariados very low which i can survive one more lunge as well it does not knock me out and the fine and they swaps out into their uh, Duong over here, so it is it is not a great swap for me because Pichot does not have a good matchup because this uh, Brave Bird and uh, Feather Dance does neutral like does neutral damage over here, but nevertheless I'll be taking super effective from Icy Wind and Ice Shard as well. To which now they uh, will be going for the first Ice Wind to take me out, and now I can easily come back with my Cresselia to get Iron Energy. And since Cresselia is so so tanky, it can handle those icy winds or maybe drill runs as well to, to, to which i'll be going for the first grass knot which ends up getting the first shield from my opponent's end which is huge because now they have to go for the icy wind that does not do too much damage and the final pokemon that they have got access to is going to be a universe turn fisk so that universe turn fisk will not appreciate this incoming mud bombs over here which they shield and they cannot farm me down with thunder shock either i can go for one more mud bomb which does so much damage over here and they recognize their feet and top leaves the game over here giving me the win for the first battle ggs moving on to the next matchup i pick up a lead against surfaced over here so this is the reason uh, that is the uh, the surface and fighters and are the one of the only reason uh, which I have access to my Pidgeot and my Chris in my backline. To which now I thought of catching a move onto my Pidgeot, but nevertheless, they went for a brief bird and again they save saps out into their own uh, Dugong over here. So, Dugong uh, is again uh, buffed up right now over here because of the uh, drill run coverage over here and to which now they will be going for the next icy wind so icy wind though it's super effective with double debuff it does not do too much damage over here so now after i can tank one move so i'll be going for the next brave bird to do a bit of damage which they recognize and they shield up which is huge because now i can come back with my Cress and get iron energy i'll be loading up a bit of extra energy even though they can farm even though they can farm uh, extra energy as well or maybe they can go for icy wind to debuff me but since they are also double debuffed it does not do too much damage so they will be going for the back-to-back -back debuffs which i am fine with because i have my uh, quacksire which is fairly tanky like fairly uh, healthy right now and they try to sack their first surfaced uh, but I did not throw my energy and the final Pokemon that they have access to is going to be a Golbat over here. So Golbat will be going for the first uh, Poison Fang, which Shadow Ball rather, I, which I'll be shielding up and now I'll be loading up on energy. So I will be going for the first Mud Bomb as a bait 
because if they are shielding that which they do i can reach to the next stone age just in time but nevertheless they will be going for the next poison fang which does not knock me out and i can survive with one hp and i can go for one stone edge that takes out the gold bat from that kind of good health and now they have only left out with their dugong because it's, it, it does not have a good matchup against my crest because i have got my grass not loaded which does not take it out but i have got back to back so nevertheless this game is also wrapped up because this grass not will take it out and give me the win for the second battle here as well with this team so ggs Moving on to the next battle, I pick up a lead against Goldbat to which the safe saps out into their own uh, Dove Wool over here. So since it's a Goldbat with a Dove Wool safe swap, I am suspecting it's going to be might be a Toxapex in the back or might be a Gillicent in the back, which is going to be troublesome uh, for me because if that if that Toxapex get aligned with my own Pidgeot that is going to be tough. To is now I'll be going for the next, uh, the first grass not onto this dub bull, and this actually, actually this dub bull is running wild charge and not payback, which is kind of good for me because payback would have done so much damage to my Chris as well, and now they will be going for back to back wild charge to take me out. But I think I let this go because I can easily come back with my own Pidgeot right now and go for a hard hefty farm down, and though. Their defense is lowered. I could not get the farm down with wing attack. So they will be going for the next wild charge. That uh, draws out the first shield from me. And now they comes back with their own uh, gold bat over here. So gold bat will not appreciate this incoming feather dance. Which I do get the shield against. And now their defense, their attack is double uh, lowered right now. So they will be going for the next poison fang. That does not do enough damage. And I can easily go for one brief but and i think that does take it out as well yeah it does take it out and i will be going for going back uh going back with my own uh quacksire over here i'll be going for the first mud bomb so mud bomb does do a bit of chip damage and since i'm going to be a shadow as well it does uh do i think 12 extra damage with the shadow bonus as well which is huge because now i'll be going for the back to back uh, mud bombs uh, putting this crafty quite low and I'll be saving up my shield for my own Pidgeot over here because I can go for yeah I can go for one shield because they their wing condition is to go for a foul play which they does and now I can easily get the farm down with, with wing attacks and get the win for the third battle here as well with this Shadow Quacksire team so GG's moving to the next battle I pick up a lead against Shadow Toxapex to which this swaps out into a Scrafty and I do a good, like, I do a bad mistake over here. I should have come back with my Pidgeot, but rather I came back with my own, uh, uh, with with my own Cress over here, which is not good because they will be shielding up the first Moon Blast and now they will be going up for the next move. So I shield up, which is going to be a Power Up Punch, which is not great. And this match is going to be uh, a turnover of upside down because I did a mistake coming into my crest and I shield up a uh, power up punch which is getting into the worst situation and now I'll be letting this next charge move go through so I can uh, come back from my mistake if I call it which I do and now I will be going for the next moon blast so both the shields are down so they will be uh, getting hit with the next moon blast that takes out the crafty over here in the final pokemon that they have got access to is going to be their own Dragonair. So Dragonair uh, with Dragon Breath and uh, Dragon Breath and Body Slam and Aqua Teal is quite spammy and it does quite a bit of damage as well. And now the catches the next Feather Dance onto their own Toxapex as well. So Toxapex will not appreciate my incoming Shadow Quacksire over here because Mud Bomb does so much damage and it does almost. Uh, yeah, it does almost do 40% over here with the shadow bonus, which is huge because now I can farm up a quite a bit of extra energy and now I'll be going for the next move, which is going to be enough to take out the Toxapex over here, which it does. And now I can easily go for the next move, but not before they can go for the next move. So this is going to be the first body slam from the Shadow Dragonair over here. But nevertheless, I have my own shield. 
so i'll be shielding that up and i'll be going for the next storage that takes out the dragon air giving me the win for the battle here as well with over here moving on the final battle of the video and the set i pick up a lead against uh jellicent over here which is quite tough because now jellicent i thought of catching a shadow ball onto my own uh pg out over here but i could not do so so i have to shield up the next incoming serve because that will do the most damage because i'll be going for the next uh feather dance over here lowering the uh, their attack by two stages which is huge because now i can this next uh, fast like next charge move go through because surf is not threatening over here and though it's debuffed as well so now i'll be going for the next uh next move over here which they swept out i believe into their own shadow uh yeah shadow shant shrew over shant slash over here uh, other than shant slash so so this is the uh, one more uh, pokemon that i've caught puffed with this season as well because of the access to uh drill run uh, because any day bulldoze uh like drill run over bulldoze is a better move as well to which now they comes back with their own jellicent as well right now so they will be shielding up this move which ends up being a mud bomb and they let it go S to which the final pokemon is going to be uh toxopex oh, uh, sorry uh, it's a toxic rogue over here so i'll be going for the next back to back mud bombs to draw out both their shield and now i am having a shield advantage of my own with my uh, pitchart and my own crest so i'll be going for the first move uh, because i'll be coming back with my own pitchart i'll be going for the next feather dance that puts it quite low and they cannot farm me down with counter uh, rather i could do so with wing attacks giving me the win for the 5-0 set which is huge because this team uh, does really well against uh, this meta because of the uh, like because of uh, like the steel types are gone that is the main reason uh, for this so if you're using this team do let me know how it is working out for you and if like if you're liking the content onto this channel do share it with your friends subscribe and like as well and to support that helps me out so that will be all for this video see you again in the next one till then peace